plaintiff, Albertus Dixon Jr. says the defendant was his first love and they started dating when he was 15 and she was 13. Albertus claims everything went downhill after their two children were born and he's suing because he claims the defendant had him falsely arrested and didn't show up for the court date. Defendant Brandy Miller says she had her first baby with Albertus when she was 14 years old. And six weeks later, she was pregnant again. Brandy claims after her daughter was born, Albertus started beating her at least three times a week. And she's countersuing for child support and emotional distress. Start with you, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Um, um, I was um, with Brandy uh, Miller for about seven years, sir. And um, she- What she, years were those? You said what years were What they? years were those? Yeah, from what um, year to what from year? From about, I was about, I was 15 and she was 13. How old are you now? I'm 20, I'm 26 now. So um, that's about. Do you remember when you all got it together? Was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like back in probably 03. Oh, three, yeah, because we've been separating for five years now. Up through? Up through all the way to oh, 09. Okay. I was um, with Brandy uh, Miller for about seven years, sir. And, what um, years were those? I was about, I was 15 and she was 13. How old are you now? I'm 20, I'm 26 now. So um, that's about. Do you remember when you all got it together? Was like <laughs> Defendant Brandy Miller has two children with the plaintiff, and she claims after their daughter was born, the plaintiff started beating her at least three times a week. And how did that go? At first, um, our, our relationship started off good. We had a real strong bond. She was kind of like, you know, my first lover, you know. And, you know, it was like... No. Every <laughs> no. Everything was was good until the kids, you know, got born, and then how that's many a, children? Um, we had two children. How old together. were you? Um, I was um, 16 when she got pregnant with the first child. How old was she? Um, she was 14. And how old was she the second child? Um, it's okay. She was 15. Okay. And I was Go ahead. Seven, and I was 17. You all all live together as a family? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, How long? Yeah. Uh, well, we lived together for a while. Um, you don't remember uh, that either? How many years? <laughs> um, see, we see at first we lived. Uh, How many with, years did he live in the household <laughs> with you and his two children? We lived together for like three years, like okay. living together like that. All right, let me allow you to speak. He seems a little. Uh, <laughs> you been smoking weed? Uh, no, <laughs> no, I know, right? You smoke Coffee. a lot of weed. No, sir. All right, because you having memory issues there. <laughs> <laughs> so you're rather young. All right. Go ahead. Um, yes, Your Honor. When I was 13, I met him, and Albertus made me feel like he loved me. And, like, Albertus was actually 16 and at the time, and he was in high school. Albertus had a car. He had a job. And what so grade I, were you in? I was in the seventh grade. Seventh, was, and yeah. he was in and, what grade? And he was in the grade? tenth grade and at the time. And I was in the seventh grade. I got rebellious, like, towards and my mother. I was getting very and disrespectful, bad. I used to run away and from home, like, just to be with him. Because mm -hmm. they used to try to avoid me from being, like, with him. But you couldn't tell me nothing then. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm grown now, but back then, you couldn't tell me anything. Because mm -hmm. I thought I was so in love. But so I was you had the one child? And, yes, sir. And, and, I had, and I had one child. At and then 14. Six weeks, and, and, and yes, sir. Six weeks later, I got pregnant and with my daughter, and, and I had another child. Mm -hmm. You so all had... planned to have children? N no, sir. Did you finish high school? I got my GED. Good. Did you go to the training uh, program, I'm in, I'm community in college? Now. And I have been in college for two years now. Good. How old are you? I am 24 years old. All right, good. Good to hear that. So go ahead, how things work out with the two of you. As soon as I had my daughter, Albertus got locked up, and he went to prison for four counts of conspiracy to robbery. So he was gone for like nine months. When Albertus got out of prison, we tried to be a family and we tried to make it. But things didn't go right. Albertus, all, and all he did was, and was used to beat me, and, and all we did was fuss, fight all the time. I know How often all, would he assault you? All the time, like three times a week. And at least, it's just been so many years. But yes, yeah, like we used to fight all the time. It's like it was ridiculous. You never fought? And I had my mama like- You never fought? Um, we, uh, I know, sir, I never beat her. <laughs> Yeah, so that's um, that's not true, Your Honor. She said three times uh, a week. I've you never, say never. No, no, I'm saying I've never had a domestic violence case against me. I didn't say case. I said, did you do it? No. Go ahead, ma'am. 
I believe you. You say three times a week for how many years? Um, probably like about five years. Why didn't you go to the police? Because I was in love with Did him. Did you go to your parents? He was already, I didn't even want them to know, but like they used to know because because like my Stand mom. Stand up, ma'am. State your name. I'm Pam Miller. You're her mother? Yes, sir. And you knew? I knew. I even tried to go down to the court systems and tried to do something about it. But they told me I was not the person that was getting injured, that she had to sign the actual warrant herself. You know, well, I, I To your knowledge, this. how often would he be? I would say at least once a week. Okay. This stuff went tit for tat. After so many years, Brandy started retaliating back, and I know she did. Mm -hmm. But, you know, so this is a, years and years, you know, I feel as if he took my child away from me. I tried. She was a cheerleader, a straight A student, everything going for herself. But, yeah, I'm just glad that all this is over with. A high schooler takes a middle schooler, gets her pregnant twice, and then beats her every week. She says three times, a mother says once. Go ahead. I don't, you know, that's all this is about my grandchildren. You know, I'm sorry. I, I just want them to have a better life. You know, like he says, he left some ugly text, text messages in my phone, and my grandchild read them. You know, I erased it, I got rid of it. I don't even have the phone anymore. You know, that's my pride and joy. They're straight A students, Albertus. Do you know that? Yeah, that's not true. That's not true. I didn't. Why would I say something bad about my own children? You That's told him that you didn't care if they were alive or not. And you do that yeah, at your and own And you have said that numerous of times. Yes, like, we used to fight all the time. Like, it was ridiculous. You never fought? And I had my mama, like, as... You never fought? Um, we, uh, I know, sir, I never beat her. She said three times uh, a week. I've you never... You say never. No, no, I'm saying I've never had a domestic violence case against me. I didn't say case. I said that you do it. No. Defendant Brandy Miller has two children with the plaintiff, and she claims after their daughter was born, the plaintiff started beating her at least three times a week. Why does she owe you for bail bonds, sir? Um, because she signed a false warrant on me, just like how they're Alleging making false what? statements now. Um, saying that I came to her job and um, I came inside her job and made um, and with another person and tried to get um, someone to beat her up, and, and none of that never happened. Okay, did they prosecute you? Uh, no, sir, she never showed up for They court. never charged you? Yeah, they charged me, yes, sir. Okay, well, then the prosecutor believes you did it. Just because she didn't show up, that happens all the time. She probably didn't want to see you locked back up. If the prosecutor believed that they should charge you, then she has not falsely accused you because the prosecutor believed her. What's your emotional distress for? Um, I was gonna when you were in jail, when she got you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, Doc. You had to tell me you go to jail and you tell him you're a woman beater too? I have evidence showing that I was the one being abused. Okay, she said, yes, yeah, she began to retaliate after three times a week for five years. Yes, okay, you're lucky you she... didn't get cut, stabbed, or run over. Okay. <laughs> The accountant claim for five thousand child support and emotional distress. How does he owe you? Um, he doesn't pay child support. Um, he hasn't paid. I just got his income tax for child support maybe um, two months ago because he's been behind. So he owes me like thirty, like three thousand dollars in back pay child support. Okay, you have something from the uh, child support services? Yes, sir. That I indicates do. that. Yes, sir. And your emotional yeah. distress is for what? My emotional is distress is because. He hasn't did anything for his kids in four years. So I had to take care of two children by myself. He doesn't help me do anything. And every year, and I brought proof of this, like every year, Albertus does something to like make us go to court or something. Like last year in 2013, a month after I got granted child support, he went down there and filed that I'm on drugs and I beat my children. To try to get out of child support. Yes, sir. So this is a way to get out of child support, but it didn't work. They had to come to my house, like, and I had, and I had to take urine tests, mouth swabs, hair follicles. Everybody did that. Like everybody did, and then they had to make sure that my house and was okay. Then we you have to, something showing yes, that you were exempt in here. He's yes, talking sir. about you filing yes, something sir. false against him. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> she is not raising them properly. Please give me custody so I don't have to pay child support. <laughs> I, that's the only sentence they left out. Um, Go ahead. That's an old trick, sir. We did not find sufficient evidence to support it. 
at risk and there's a negative uh, result from the drug test. Um, I was gonna tell you, sir, they gave them two weeks to prepare for, um, for those tests they did. The, um, the, the system. Two weeks. They, yeah, they gave them two you weeks. You she smokes all the time. Yeah. They, okay. They, they okay. And how long does weed stay in your system? Um, it's a month, uh, 30 right. days from now. Right, and you say she took the test two weeks after smoking weed and it wasn't in her system. Okay, but if you drink water or if you... Drink water, regular water, huh? That's all you do. Hey, young people, those who are not getting jobs because you have weed in your system, just drink water. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Let's get to this child support, sir. Sir, child support. Do you owe that? Yes, sir. I owe um, twenty-seven forty-five. And why haven't you paid it? Do you work? I when I was working, I was paying. When, I, but I lost my job. So how'd you lose your job? Uh, because I had surgery and um, I was out too long. All right. How far did your education go? Sir? Your education, how far did you uh, stay I'm a, in school? I'm a senior uh, for business um, management right now. Where? At Troy University. All right, okay. I'm just trying to make sure you're trying. You sound like you are. Uh, on the other hand, sir, I'm gonna order you to pay this child support. And your uh, child support order shows that you owe more than she said. It says 35.43. Hers just says 3,051. So I'm gonna go with you. I believe you're an honest man. Huh? <laughs> I believe you're a very honest man. You're very honest. Just don't let him fool you, cause his wife takes care of him, and then he sells drugs, so he doesn't have to work. Okay. Defendant Brandy Miller has two children with the plaintiff, and she claims after their daughter was born, the plaintiff started beating her at least three times a week. All right, you sell drugs, sir? No, sir. What does he sell? Um, he sells pills. Pills. Okay. What type of pill? Um, Roxy, Oxycontin. $25 um, a pill? So you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if you're making that kind of money, then you can pay your child support. Um, I was gonna tell you, sir. You talking mighty slow. Are you using that Oxycontin <laughs> yourself? Oh, uh, you ain't. And your you eyes kind of droopy. I was thinking perhaps that was your personality. Is he using it himself? No. Yeah, you give me the impression, sir. You have all the symptoms of someone who uses Oxycontin and Vicodin. Have a good day. I'm not listening to anything else you're saying. Judgment for the defendant. Your claim is dismissed. Have a good day. He's still not going to pay child support, but at least I got some money today. That's the only way I'm going to get it. That's all you do is look ignorant. You ignorant. Um, he high. He don't know what to say. He's oh, high. He don't know oh what to say. He don't know what to say. Here. I gotta wait on him.